Hey YouTube, so I want to do a video showing people what you actually get when you receive uh, these, these, these batteries. Hey YouTube, so I want to do a video of showing people what you actually receive when you get these giant, you know, Eve or Li Shen batteries, when you get these, when we get these huge lithium iron phosphate cells. So here we are, and I'm going to show you what I receive with Eve. So when you get Eve, you're going to cut, at least what I got, came in this giant box. It's two cells per box. And the cells just come right out. Let me show the camera. That's how the cells look, okay? And the cells come right out like that. We have two beautiful Eve cells, okay? This is what I got when I ordered them. Um, everything's actually in really nice condition. I don't notice any real problems to speak of. There is some marker on here, but otherwise, uh, this is what you get. Um, yeah, so they're actually really well packed and secure. I could imagine that you could completely drop this box and there'd be no problems at all. But that's how they're packed and delivered to me. That's an unboxing swing of Eve cells. So I ordered 16 of these and so I got eight boxes. Now the uh, Leishan cells, the Leishan cells look a little different. The Leishan cells came in a box of four. Now that box of four has about four, two or three of these foam pads on top, and then they come like that, wrapped up nice together like that, okay? And then you just take this out. You can see there's layers of this stuff, but then same thing, they come out one at a time, they look beautiful, everybody's happy, and that's what it's like after I remove that. So that's what it's like to unbox the uh, the Alicia and cells. Uh, here's the most important thing. Both sets of these came with exact same equipment. They came with these tiny little M6 screws and they came with bus bars. They came with, uh, I think one bus bar per cell and two of these screws per cell. Okay, so you might have to make some of your own bus bars or order more. But also these screws, they kind of, they're not great. They're, they're small, they don't get great coverage. Uh, I don't like them. Um, and they're also really, really tedious to, to add, you know, when you want to add, they're, they're hard to screw in when you're trying to put things in series or parallel, when you're trying to add bus bars or something like that. What I've ordered online, what I really strongly suggest everyone get are these. These are bolts and these are uh, M6 uh, serrated nuts. These you can find online. Here's a close shot right? These bolts are great and these nuts are great. They make it so much easier. I'm going to use a cell right now as an example. You take a cell and instead of having to futz with these little tiny things where it can be hard to get on and especially if you wanted to put on, let's say if you're putting on like a big lug nut, a big lug at the end because you've got a big battery and you want to power it and you have to put on some, you know, big lug at the end, you're not going to think that there's, there's hardly anything on there, right? Whereas this, you can screw this on. It's got an Allen key socket at the top. You can screw this in really, really easily, right? Goes in, you can start to feel the end. I don't like to tie them too tightly. Um, I don't want to accidentally damage the cell. So I just go to the end and then you start to feel some resistance. There we go at the bottom. Yeah, and then you can put as much as you want on here really, really easily without futzing, without worrying that you're not gonna have a screw that goes in deeply enough. We know that we can go in super deep and then you just put these washers on top of whatever you're gonna do, and it's no problem at all. So I think that's something that everyone who buys these cells should buy. I think the, the bus bars they come with are fine. I actually had one bus bar that I found just didn't seem to conduct electricity very well. If I put things in series with it, it I, I really couldn't actually use the battery. So I found one of these bus bars wasn't good. Otherwise, I know they're copper. I've chipped back away at them and they're, they're copper. So I don't know what was up with that one bus bar, but these are fine. You can make your own, you can buy some online. Um, and that might be something people want to do, um, especially if you're going to do really high amperage. You know, if you're going to put these in parallel, or uh, sorry, in series and just try and draw, you know, if you're doing something like a 12 volt application and you're going to try to draw a lot of amps out of that 12 volt application, you might want to double up the bars bars or buy some more. But otherwise, the main things I would buy are these nuts and bolts. I think they're really, really, really useful. Um, so I've got links below for every one of, for all these things. Um, they're not even affiliate links. I just, I, I really recommend them. Uh, they are affiliate links for the cells. But if this was helpful to you, please like or subscribe. I really appreciate it. This is a lot of work on my part. So uh, thank you for any support.